This video is based on remote optimization algorithm. In this video, we will try to understand what is this algorithm all about, how it is working, how different mathematical models are used in this algorithm, where we can use this algorithm, algorithm advantages and disadvantages. First, we will start with introduction. Here we will discuss the basic details about Remora. Next, we will try to understand what is this algorithm all about and how it is working. Next, we have different mathematical models used in this algorithm for position update, prey searching, host feeding, for attack and other activities. And in the end, we will try to understand how this algorithm is working step by step with an example. As you can see here, Remora optimization algorithm is recently proposed bio-inspired metaheuristic optimization algorithm that is recently proposed in the year 2021. So this algorithm is basically inspired by the intelligent parasitic behavior of Remora and random host replacement of Remora. So as you can see here in this algorithm, the parasitic behavior and the host replacement of Remora play the major role. So first we will try to understand the Remora behavior, lifestyle and what is the parasitic behavior, host replacement and other activities done by Remora in this algorithm so that we can easily understand how this algorithm is working. As you can see here, this is the Remora fish also known as sucker fish, whale sucker, shark sucker, disc fish. You can see the length is about 30 cm to 110 cm and length depend species to species. And you can see here, this is the sucking disc over the head. And Remora used the suction technique for this survival. They attach themselves to the host animal under water using this sucking disc. They clean the host body from the parasites, bacteria, and in return, they get their food. That's why sometimes they are also called sucker fish, whale sucker, or shark sucker. They often feed on parasites, plankton, squids, and they found in the Asia, America, Australia, in the river, sea water as they use the host body for their survival. So you can see the different types of host. They are commonly used by Remora for their survival. They commonly use big fishes such as whales, shark, swordfish, manta rays, and sea turtles as their host. And sometimes accidentally they get attached to the boats. And when no food is offered, they let go in disappointment. So as you can see here, the Remora fish is often in the touch with whales, shark, and other host animals. So question is why shark, whales, and other host animals do not harm Remora. They can easily kill or harm, but question is why they do not harm. So now we will try to understand why they do not harm Remora. By nature, Remora do not harm their host they are not dangerous to their host even human use them to capture big fishes and sea turtles remora have no swimming bladder and for their travel in the water they use their suction disc they attach to the host body and as the host travel they also move or travel in the water as the host move Remora also use their special ability to touch, smell, and other chemicals to communicate with the host animals. There is a give and take relationship between shark and Remora. Remora clean the shark body from the parasites, bacteria, and it also clean the dead skin cells. The host, and as they are attached with the host, they can easily swim with the host without any effort. So as they keep the shark body clean and safe from the parasites, bacteria, so that's why that's why shark do not harm Remora. So as they keep the host animals safe from parasites, bacteria, in return they do not harm Remora. So as you can see here, we have a number of hosts commonly used by Remora. In Remora optimization algorithm, Remora will follow two hosts, humpback whale and swordfish. 
So here we will use the two optimization algorithm, rail optimization algorithm and sword face optimization algorithm for the Remora position update in the search space. We can use this algorithm to solve the global optimization problems and it also provides us better results as compared to the state-of-the-art heuristic techniques. But we have certain limitations, for example, slow convergence rate and sometimes this algorithm stuck in the local optima for some engineering design problems and also provide poor solution that are not accurate. Now we will try to understand how this algorithm is working step by step with an example. So first we have the initialization phase. Here we will initialize the population for n remora. n is the total number of remora we have in the population. And then we have the maximum of iteration. And then we will initialize the position for the each candidate in the search space. For example, we have three remora. Then the position for the first is x1, second is x2, third is x3, and so on. After that, we will check the stopping criteria. That is, we will check whether the current iteration is less than or equal to maximum number of iterations or not. If the stopping criteria is matched, then stop and display the solution that you obtained in the previous iteration. If stopping criteria is not matched, then we will repeat the loop after that, in step 3, using a fitness function or you can say objective function, we will evaluate the performance for each remora in the search space. So, for example, here we have three candidates. So, for each candidate, now we will evaluate their performance. Because in step 4, we will find out the best among all in the current population. So, just imagine we have here three remora and we applied any objective function on the current population and we obtained the values for each remora so here we are using the fitness values to determine which one is best and worst so you can see here the best value among all is the minimum value so we will consider the third candidate as best and the worst value you can see here for this one so this is the worst candidate now in step 5, we will update all the important parameters for this algorithm and then we will update the position for each remora in the current population. For position, we have, for position update, here we have two modes, sword face optimization strategy and whale optimization algorithm strategy. Sword face optimization algorithm strategy is the global search where Remora can freely travel and explore the search space and here we have two global search methods experiment attack and SFO strategy. Wheel optimization algorithm is the local search used here for the exploitation phase and here we have two methods host feeding and WOA strategy and wheel optimization algorithm strategy. In this algorithm fusion framework is established by switching between Remora and two kind of host, Swordfish and Whale. We have two modes, Swordfish strategy and Whale strategy. So we will use here the binary value 0 and 1. If value is 0, then we will apply here Whale strategy. If value is 1, then we will apply the Swordfish strategy. And then we will update the final position for the each agent and then evaluate their performance using fitness function and then compare the previous and older solution and after that we will increment the counter if condition math then stop and display the solution that you obtained in the previous iteration. Now we will try to understand the mathematical models used in this algorithm to update the position. So here you can see when we have zero we will use the whale well optimization algorithm strategy and you can see here this is the mathematical model else we will use the SFO strategy and this is the mathematical model that we will use to update the Remora position in the search space. Here for the whale optimization algorithm strategy D is the distance between the best candidate and the Remora and this is the random number this is also the random number 
Here b is the random number that is linearly decreasing from minus 1 and minus 2 and this is the random number within minus 2 and 1. In this algorithm the optimal solution is the pre and after that you can see here for the sword fields algorithm we will use this mathematical model this is the best candidate this is the new position that we will obtain for the remora and and then you can see here this is the final equation used to update the remora position in the search space this is the new position obtained and here this is the previous position and after that we will calculate the fitness values for the updated solution using a fitness function and then we will compare the new solution with the older one if new solution is better than the older one then we will perform the host conversion as host feeding using this mathematical equation after that we will increment the counter and check the stopping criteria if it is matched then display solution for example here we have three remora and among all you can see this is the best solution so display this as the best solution that we obtained here for this example so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video